Well, hey guys, and welcome to my seventh day of the 12 days of Christmas. Christmas is only six days away, which is super exciting. So if you're watching this and you're like, well, what is going on? Why are her eyes crazy with these filters? And she has this weird hat on her head. Has she forgotten about Snapchat while she's recording? Well, no, I haven't. And I know it looks silly, but this is part of our Christmas series. And if you're watching this in July, no worries. Christmas can happen in July. Maybe, maybe not, but what we're going to talk about today, which is response latency, has not changed since Christmas. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about response latency. So what is response latency, also just known as latency? That has, what that means is it's the time between the SD, right, the instruction that's presented or the SD that's presented, and when a learner starts to engage in a behavior. Now, it's not when a learner finishes engaging in a behavior, because I've seen mocks that might trick you. It's when a learner starts to engage in a behavior. So one of the things that confuses a lot of people is right when you get these questions and there's multiple numbers and multiple measures in it, they're asking for the latency. One thing to know, if they're not asking for the average latency, you're never going to add when getting a mock question with latency, it's always going to be one number. You can't add it up. It's not like a duration where you can add it up. So if you're not going to be getting the average, make sure you're not adding and getting confused in a mock question that has latency in it. So let's look at one and I will show you exactly what I mean. All right, guys. Well, this mock question is based on a fantasy of mine, which is having a butler in my home in order to bring me wine. So let's see. Um, let's read this question. It says Jessica was having a dinner party. She asked her butler to bring her wine. Four seconds later, he picked up the wine and started walking to her. He got a text message on the way and stopped for six seconds to read it. Jessica took three minutes to drink her wine. What is the latency of the butler bringing Jessica wine? Now, remember what I said here. This may look like a trick, but this uh, latency is when you start engaging in a behavior and you're never gonna add to find a latency unless you're getting an average of a latency, which is not what we have here. So if you know the answer, drop your answer in the comments below. The more of you that drop your answer in the comments, the better chance I'll have of becoming fabulously wealthy on YouTube and getting my butler, like my dream mock question talks about. Um, on the note of also um, what I have for you for sale, if you were to head over to my website, hopeeducationservices.com. I have a lot of resources on there to help you study for your BCBA exam. Number one, I have all these YouTube videos on there. I have blog posts on there. There's a lot of blog posts on there if you're more of a visual learner. I also have a fifth edition crash course that I, I made with Dr. Katie May of ABA Mindset and my experimental design intensive workshop, which is what I'm famous for. So check those resources out. They will definitely be on there, something for you. Subscribe to this channel. And if you have a question, drop it in the comments below because I'm making more videos just like this one to help you pass your BCBA exam.